Uh, yeah, this is Dave from TeePooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. The tank I am playing is the IS-2. It's a Russian Tier 7 heavy tank. Uh, the map is Overlord. Uh, my, re my reload time is 12 seconds, which is common with heavy tanks. Um, I'm going to the center of the map, and the reason why is because from the center of the map, you can spot more targets, you have access to more targets, you can shoot in any direction. Um, it's a lot riskier because everybody can shoot at you. But I just find I get more kills from the center of the map. I don't know if I get more experience or not. I'm one of the higher tier tanks. I'm going to go after the Hellcat. Oh, uh, I guess I'm not going to. Well, I thought he was right here. I wish I had an ally here. I don't. He apparently does. Yeah, these guys aren't stupid, so I gotta get out of here. Let's find another target. That's a situation you don't want to be in. That really sucks. Okay, so let's get into another game. Um, I'm playing the heavy tanks because I get more experience with heavy tanks. And uh, I'm, pl I'm playing with... Um, whatever it is, the... Uh, the personal reserves, so, which you get more of a bonus when you play your higher tier tanks. Uh, this is obviously the low. It's a, a German tier 8 heavy tank. This gun aims very quickly, so from far away you're going to have very accurate shots. Does a decent amount of damage. The armor is pretty good. Uh, this tank was never actually produced, I don't think. I think it was just a mock-up. It's a lot like the Indian Panzer, which also I think was not produced. The Indian Panzer is kind of is a medium tank, and it's shaped very similar to the low. I'm going to go to the center of the map. From the center of the map, you can spot more tanks. You can shoot at more tanks. You can uh, reposition a lot easier. Um, and because it's a slow tank. In general, when you have a slow tank, you want to be in a convenient place. You want to be s near the center of the map. You want to be near the bases. You don't want to take a slow tank and go far away from where you need to be. Um, it's difficult to shoot across that way because of the shape of the land. There's really no opening as far as I know. And uh, I usually have more luck on this side as you can see with this gentleman here there might be a house in the way but like I said I usually get more action shooting between the mountain than I do on the other side but you gotta get there there's no benefit to being slow and that is an autoloader the Lorraine 40T gotta be careful with him unless of course he's reloading then you just fire away. Somebody spotted me, which of course is never good. Okay, so I guess I did the repairs wrong. I did the repairs wrong. You'll notice I was the only one in the center. I don't know if I got any spotting damage. But you really want to, pr if you're fearful of a part of the map, you really want to overcome your fears. Don't be fearful. Learn to play every position. A lot of my tanks, the crews are busy because they're in the uh, domination mode. 
so it won't be able to play a lot of those tanks. Um, you know, maybe a T-69? No, oh, T-34. I'm about to upgrade the T-34. I only need uh, 2,000 more experience. There's a good chance I can get it in this game. I like to play light tanks. I'm not so crazy about the heavy tanks. I, I hate the low. I don't like it at all. Uh, if you're a sniper, I definitely recommend it. But if you're not... El Halouf is a great... Used to be a great map for um, the low. Because this used to be a sniping map. Everyone used to line up on their ridge and shoot at each other. But, but because they made changes to the map, people don't do that anymore. Okay, T-34. Because of the situation, I'm a low tier... I'm not a heavy tank, I'm a medium tank, and I'm relatively fast. I'm going to go across to the enemy side and try and hunt down their SPGs. Um, you'll note that they have a lot of tank destroyers, which means that they might not go to the north. There's a good chance that I might be confronted with a lot of tanks in this game. And I gotta be careful, they've got a couple fast tanks that I might be confronted with on this route. So you gotta keep an eye out. Such as the tiger. I don't wanna fight the tiger. The tiger will destroy me. So I have to be very careful. Hopefully my artillery... You know, just keep them spotted and let my artillery shoot at them. I'm going to hide. As you can see, like I, as I predicted, they've got four tank destroyers i got to go up against. I probably should have done a spotting maneuver instead of uh, what I did. Oh, this is not good. Okay. So, if I had to do it over again, I would have spotted at a bush. Um, that would have been the proper maneuver. I haven't played this in a while, and I wasn't thinking straight. Uh, because they had a lot of tank destroyers, I should have gone to a bush somewhere in the middle of the field, taken up a spotting position, and um, spotted the enemy tanks. We had three artillery, which would have taken shots at them. Would have been a great game. Okay, Sherman 3. I love the Sherman 3. I had some of my best games in the Sherman 3 because it's a fast tank, has a reasonable amount of armor, and you can get a really good gun on it that, you know, does a lot of, da does a lot of penetrations, rapid fire... Usually the guns that shoot the fastest do less damage. And the ones that take longer do more damage. Slower tanks usually have more armor. Not always true. Because they could just as well have a weak engine. And they sometimes do more damage. I know it's going to sound really stupid. <laughs> I'm going to go to the center of the map. It's, again, it's a very difficult position to play. People are going to, you know what, I'm going to go to the north. To the town. Being in the center of the map is very difficult. And it's hard to shoot at the enemy. Um, you're very vulnerable. I haven't mastered it yet. But the good thing is, you're real close to the enemy artillery. You could easily run across and kill the enemy artillery if you go right up the center. I haven't... I think I've had nothing... nothing to write home about. You know, I've had limited success.
Let's see if this hill can give me an advantage here. So Matilda. Oh, he's coming, isn't he? I'm gonna turn my tank for better protection. Target unlocked. Enemy is hit. Enemy armor is hit. I'm gonna move in case I was spotted. So that Matilda is still alive. Oh, it's too bad my ally died. Obviously flanking him. Flank and ram. Okay, it's 9 to 9. I can pretty much go anywhere I want on the map. There's no reason to hide anymore. Uh, they've got two... Th I have an idea where three of their tanks are. So there's one tank, which it looks like... don't know which one it is. There's one tank, the T1 Heavy. Don't know where he is. Well, somebody else killed him. I'm gonna cap. Hide in a bush. Get that timer running. The T1, the Matilda is a slow tank. And it's far away. The T1 Heavy have no idea where it is. Target acquired. We didn't even scratch them. Enemy armor is hit. The engine is smoking. Penetration. Okay. We're dead for. Everyone get out. Oh, my stupid ally wasn't even helping me. He was hiding. I thought, oh, my ally will help. He wasn't even doing nothing. He was just sitting right there. Now he's got a... Oh, God. Would have made it so much easier. We could have won. We could have... If we had killed the T1 Heavy, we would have won. I must have shot at the T1 Heavy like five times, and my ally was hiding over there in the corner. He didn't come out and do nothing. Anything interesting here? Well, on the T-34, I did not get enough to, uh, to upgrade. However, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to sell that T-34. You can take a look at my crew. I've got three skills on the commander and one skill on everyone else. You want to have more skills on the commander. They all have camouflage, but the commander also has mentor and sixth sense. Okay, so I really would like to purchase the T28. 
which is this tank right here. I don't have enough money. I need 400,000. Um, my only option is to sell another tank. There's no one that is close enough, however, to research to do an upgrade. This is where you want to use your free experience. You want to use it when you can do a module upgrade and you want to avoid using it in order to um, upgrade your tank. So I am going to play the uh, Cheeto. This isn't such a bad tank. You know, the armor is not that great, but it's got a pretty good gun and it's definitely slow. Uh, the map is Overlord. I'm going to start a new video. If you have any questions or comments,